So the fourth tension I'm interested in the future evolves the evolving need for personal data norms for both private sector and government to harness the power of the Internet of Things while managing the very real risks to privacy. Think back to the case of Target, where internet-worked air conditioning systems introduced a security vulnerability. As the number and variety of devices online continues to proliferate, everyday technology will allow increasingly ubiquitous tracking of individual behavior by government, the private sector, and potentially communities of internet users. With the right applications, this explosion of information can bring tremendous value to society, consumers, and companies. But in the wrong hands, or without the right safeguards, there's a dark side to big data. I doubt consumers truly understand the breadth of data collected about them each day by the private sector each day, and how easily that data is linked and mined to make traditional privacy protections, like anonymization or notice and consent, largely obsolete. And further, as technology continues to evolve, new frontiers may arise that we can only speculate about today. So think about merging together digital and genetic information. There's tremendous promise. The ability to tailor drugs to individual-specific genetic mapping, making them potentially more effective, and managing side effects better. But there's also, potentially, a world where foreign enemies can create viruses that target the specific genetic makeup of a nation's leaders, or criminal elements can not only steal personal information, but also personal genetic information. Indeed, many major industries are missing from the security and privacy debate, including those in manufacturing, life sciences, and energy. So for example, think about the potential load signatures or the degree of power different devices use can truly help us conserve energy in very interesting and wise ways. But there's also an interesting privacy angle in that analyzing the load signature can give information about a household's behavior, health, the health of its inhabitants, and potentially illegal behavior. Although I believe growing medical marijuana in this state is legal. <laughs> <laughs>